Hey guys, Josh Hankin here, creator of the DVRT Ultimate Sandbag Core Training System, along with a good friend of mine, Rich Mejias, out from New Jersey, Leverage Training Center. Uh, super excited to have Rich here. Thank you very much. If you're definitely in the Northeast, you have to check Rich out at the Leverage Training Center. Definitely one of the best facilities I've ever been to. Uh, Rich is a top coach. We're happy to have him part of our program, and now we're going to put a little beating on him. So what we're going to do is show you the diversity of really the DVRT system because if you understand how to optimize all the different weights, all the different dimensions, and all the different sizes, you can get so much out of your train with just literally three bags. So we're going to get into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a front hold, what we call a dynamic isometric front squat. So a lot of people ask us, how do you get stronger with using lighter weights? One is slow the speed down. A lot of people, as they go heavier, one go really fast so they can rebound. If you go slower, not only do you get more coordination and more stimulation of the right muscles, but you also put lost stress and you actually make the muscles work harder because they can't just rebound. So what Rich is going to do first, we're just going to do two reps. You can do this up to about five reps, but it's really tiring. He's going to get into our front hold position. He's going to pause at three different spots for a two second count. At, once he hits the bottom, he's going to pause and then drive up as fast as he can. So let's see it. So Rich is going to grab those neutral grip handles. He's got a good sized bag there. He's going to clean it up. So he's going to pull the bag close into his body. He's going to go down about a quarter squat. Hold it. Two, three. About half. Hold. Two, three. And all the way to the bottom. Two, three. And accelerate up. We're going to do it one more time. Hold. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. And accelerate back up. Nice job, Rich. Let's go set down. So again, five reps is pretty good. At two, that's... You start so, feeling everything firing yeah, so. off pretty hard. So don't try to do 10 or so unless you have a much lighter bag and you want to play with those components. So I'm going to switch bags for Rich here. So we're going to go on the other end of the spectrum. We're going to use our power bag. Now why the power bag is because when we do more complicated movement patterns, not technically com complex, but I mean complex in that we have to integrate more of the stabilizers, you're going to use a lighter and more stable implement. So what Rich is going to do, he's going to work on it. What we're going to do, a lateral bag drive to an eccentric one-arm push-up. So as the bag's moving across, he's really have to engage his whole body, corkscrew the arm. He's basically going to work on just slowly coming down that one-arm push-up. As the bag's moving along, it's going to get harder and harder for him to control that movement. He's going to come down, push himself back up, and go back the other way. So we'll do about one to two each side here, Rich. So he's going to get a nice wide base. He's going to reach across and very slowly, as he starts to go down, 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 he takes his left hand off and then push back up. Nice, Rich. Let's go to the other side. Slow as you can. Descend, descend, descend. Nice, Rich. Let's do one more time the other way. So you want to try to keep your hips from rotating as much as possible. He's loading up his lat. He's actively pushing through his toes and loading his glutes. Nice job, Rich. Let's come on up. That one can do about five to six reps on it. It doesn't sound a lot, but because you have two sides, it's obviously going to build a good amount of volume. So you want to be considerate of the fact that you're doing a much more difficult exercise when you're programming how many repetitions you're doing. All right, so now we're moving along to our strength bag. The strength bag is great because it's that sort of combination of load and dimension along with the, some stability and a way to progress on the movement pattern. So it's a nice in-betweener. What we're going to do is we're going to use that offset grip. So Rich is going to roll in one end, grab onto the neutral grip with one handle. He's going to go into a rotational clean, into a rotational press. So when we have that intermediate point where we're a little bit more stable, but we're going through a different point of motion, this is the perfect size for a lot of people. So Rich, let's go ahead and show him what it looks like. So he's going to rotate to his left side. He's going to clean it to his fist. And then he's going to press above the head. Nice. Bring it back down the chest and rotate back. So there's components of deceleration, acceleration. He's working that transverse plane. So he's adding complexity to that standard clean and press that we see people do. Adding the fact that he's working more with that right arm, he's getting a little bit of that unilateral work through the upper body as well. Nice job, Rich. So again, for this exercise, depending upon the weight you're using, about six to eight reps per side is really optimal. And breathe. Because when you change the planes of motion that you're working in, generally your fatigue can accumulate much faster. So last one in our series, it's a little complex. We're gonna do a rotational lunge clean into a forward lunge in the front load position. So we'll just work to one side, Rich. So you can grab both neutral handles this time. So let him get used to it a little bit. He's gonna go back into rotational lunge first. He's gonna clean it up to his chest. He's gonna step forward. Beautiful. And go right to the same side. So what you're doing is you're getting that drop step lunge. We're gonna activate the hamstring and glute and get that lateral stability of the glute med and the trunk and the power coming up to clean it. Now he's in a position where he's gonna stabilize as he is accelerating forward. Accelerating forward is gonna be more of his body and weight coming forward, a lot of work on that leg to do. Now this one you can make a little more metabox, about eight to 10 reps 
first side. Nice job, Rich. So if you put that together in a circuit, it's only about four exercises, but it's four exercises that leave about no muscle on training. So you can see how easily you can manipulate the different variables in the DVRT system. So check this out, this workout, try these exercises. Make sure to check out my boy Rich out in New Jersey and see more at DVRTFitness.com.